party, bro. Hey, what's happening, Longmont? This is uh, King Penny, man. Hey, welcome to the first episode of Don't Act Different Now podcast. Hey, these cameras get hot, people start acting funny. Got one, coach. Uh, we're going to go down the list, man. We're gonna, we got a couple of uh, current events to talk about and local issues and stuff like that we want to address and just have an open conversation about it. Nobody's going to be disrespectful. Nobody's going to be attacking anyone. Uh, mm. Just have a little open dialogue for the weekend, I might man. You. Hey, bro. Hey, look here. <laughs> you know I'm old school. You meet me outside. We can figure this thing out. No, I'm joking. Hey, so let's go ahead and get this thing started, man. We'll start on the end, ma'am, with your name and what do you do for a living? Sure. Hey, everyone. I'm Lily, and I am a criminal defense attorney. Ooh, you flex. Ooh. Was that a, hey, that's how you hey. started with a flex, don't you? <laughs> All right, Yo, you're up after that, buddy. I know. <laughs> you're, you're up. Uh, yeah, my name's Chad, and I uh, I run a nursery. Like we sell trees, like real trees. Real trees. <laughs> like the, 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 the things that, that hang on, on on your mirror in the car. No, like trees. That you, you said real like, trees. Like like, like like oh cannabis or like no like trees. <laughs> you smoke all kinds you know, of trees. Like, have you heard of a maple? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sap sucker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, my name is Penny. I guess I uh, spot people for a living. You know what I mean? Like, I change weight. Hey, it's a whole story. We'll get into that another time. Go ahead. My name is Carter, and I'm an accountant in the real estate industry. Ballers. Hey, look here. Well, not you, Chad, but hey, you two, let me borrow something. Hey, look, you need a co sign on something. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, you didn't want to say it. Be Recently surprised. just graduated yeah. with a master's too. Hey, congratulations. Congrats. Appreciate hey, now that's a flex. Yeah. Hey, he flexed on me. Hey, y'all going to talk about degrees later or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> hey, so first issue I want to talk, man, is let's talk about the modern dating scene. Like, you know what I mean? The local dating scene or what happens on the internet nowadays. Because I think most people meet online. Yeah. That's the thing nowadays. And I just want to throw it out there that these females don't look like these filters they be using. <laughs> and I don't want to be the guy. Yeah. You yeah. know, like, I've seen a couple of them in person, and I'm just like... Well, guys, guys got filters, too. Do they? Yeah, do yeah, they you, yeah. filters? Yeah, you, you they go, do? You go, you go in the gym, you're wearing your stringer, you get a nice little pump going on, you take a picture with good downline, and, you know, you mm. just look as perfect Jesus as you can. Jesus Christ, he's a pro. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I have never. I, yeah, even, I'll, I'll, I'll look like that when, it, when it, on, on like the rest, the rest of the twenty three hours out of the day. I mean, yeah. I guess it's not totally surprising because you do see oh. guys now who like do their eyebrows. Oh yeah. Are, stop, stop right there. Because he's not talking about a filter. You're talking about just having a pump and taking a picture. Well, yeah, but you don't look like that the rest of the day. Oh, so that's, he's, that's different. So he's equating that, it that, to no, a filter. No, 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 no. You can't count that pump, a pump picture. I'm not, a, I'm not saying, I'm not, no, so, but look, a lot of let, me, let me clear my position. I'm not saying it's as bad as how crazy some of the filters can be, but it's still the same idea. Okay, I get A you. lot of the women, filters aside, right? Like, a lot of women have learned sure. to do their makeup to just completely change their faces yeah. regardless of any filter. Right, like a lot of women do all the contouring and they can change the shape of their nose and their jawline and their cheekbones and mm. everything, right? So they look completely different without makeup. So we figured out who gonna cape for women right now. We'd already established that one, huh? <laughs> like, I'm not I, 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 I wouldn't hey, a lot yeah. of women they, you know, I wouldn't call that I yeah. wouldn't call that caping. I don't I don't how know if is it's that? caping, it's yeah, it's kinda yeah, necessity. It's kinda calling the, it's like, is it a necessity? Survival of the fittest or whatever you know, they gotta you gotta look better than everybody else out there, right? Yeah, I guess. If there you is, know? if there is any sort of um, justice for people who like manipulate pictures and stuff like this, if you pay attention, you really pay attention on social media. A lot of them end up single for a long time. You're right, right. Jeez, yeah, bro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Analytics over here. <laughs> well, I mean, because imagine you're putting out so you're putting out a false product, right? What is going on? inside for you to have to put out a false product to begin with you know could be incentivized could be incentivized financially i mean it could be incentivized by a only lot of fans things. only fans mm. you know and even even you know you and i we see it in the fitness industry you know people that manipulate their pictures for supplement sponsorships they never even meet their boss they just get a discount code on their email and then they post it on their really? social media hmm. hey look here ain't that what they say on players club gotta get that's your males money. and females by the way yeah, true. So how does that equate in the dating scene? How is that? So you have this person over here and this person over here. How, why is there, why is there a, 
I would say a disconnect between males and females at the moment. Can I? Can I? Oh, I can yeah, tell you. Go ahead. Like can I say that? Yeah, yeah. Is so. You know, me and my son's mom split up like eight years ago, and I didn't. I didn't date. I didn't do nothing because I got on those dating apps, and I just it just felt so foreign to me because I always met girls out and about doing right. things, but then I had a little kid, so I wasn't out and about, and. I don't know. I tried the the apps, and I just ne- I never liked. It. I never liked how my pictures looked. I never liked like who was hitting me back, and I'd go out and I would get catfished or whatever, mm-hmm. and I just gave up on it. You know, and I was just like, fuck, and I'm gonna be single, and I was like super happy for for seven years, just single, not dating anyone. I mm-hmm. can't really speak to the dating scene. Like I, I mean, no. the dating. So I did. I was on a dating app for like two seconds, <laughs> like literally like two weeks. And it is not only is it foreign, but like it's really easy to sound good on paper. Right. Right. Um, right. You're like kind of swiping through resumes almost. Exactly. And I need yeah. I need to meet people organically. Like I need right. to be able to right. be in the same room as you kind of feel your energy, your vibe like do we connect when we have a conversation? Shit, even something as silly as like someone's voice, right? Like I remember I had a, on the dating app, like we moved from the messaging to a phone call and as superficial as this may be, like as soon as I heard it, I was like, my type, no, like as soon as I heard a dude's voice, I was I like, I can't, this is, not, this is not a voice I can rock with long term. Like I can't. Over a like, voice? I mean, but like, you know, it's the same as people having mannerisms or you know, certain, yeah, habits, yeah. ticks that you just can't really get with, so where, right? So, like it's all so, part so, of. So speaking of organic. Mm-hmm. Grocery shopping. No, I'm joking. <laughs> where, where can you meet somebody at organically nowadays? Where are you meeting somebody? I mean, outside just... outside of Walmart. Hey, Walmart <laughs> is the spot. I ain't even going to lie. I ain't even going to hold you. I, I told you I was single for seven years, and it's not. I mean, I think that's it's part of It's not that I wasn't trying. I don't know. I wasn't really trying, but I, I don't know. Like, when I was that age, I was 30 years old now, right? So now you're out at the bar, and... The girls that are your age are kind of a mess, you know. Especially if you see. I don't know. I'm sorry. No comment. <laughs> a lot of, I mean, a lot of them are kind of a mess, and um, <laughs> double take. <laughs> he doubled down on it, like yeah. A lot of them are, a lot of them are kind of a mess, um, and I don't know. You can know. we say? Can we, can we say instead of a mess, some of uh, some of women of a certain age are maybe upset. Yeah, I would say I would I would say I would say bitter, but I'm gonna hold back on going that that far. But I would say (laughs) I I would rewind that, but I would say upset. They they've already kind of been through a kind of a serious relationship already. Yeah, they've probably come out of that, and I went and they still are holding on to a lot of like yeah, just angry about that whole situation. Right, and I think that going forward, it's hard for them to kind of let that guard down. Right. Well, right. That, that, that's tough, though, because the one thing that you kind of have to keep in your mind is who is your audience whenever we walk into a bar, especially if it's like a really high-end club, it's loud, a lot of music, a lot of dancing, because you're dealing with people who like the party scene, they probably like to the drink, they probably like different recreational drugs. You, you really walk in there and you're like, who's, your, who's my audience? <laughs> well, you, I, I always think about that. <laughs> well, Chad walks in the place talking about who's my, where my ops at. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> my listen, like, look. No, I'm, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but, uh, it, yeah. The, the, so that's one thing to think about is that you're dealing with people who like the party scene. But then the second thing is, and call it what it is, I think a lot of women understand that if they're single and they're looking for other single men, they're going to go somewhere like a bar or club situation. But they, their intentions may not be 100% genuine. Yeah, I've seen so many different memes and reels that show up on my Instagram feed. I don't think anybody's uh, Girls talk about, are, like, they got, like, 10 numbers. Genuine. They got 15 free drinks. They got this kind of stuff. So... You just have to be mindful of that, and this is kind of a personal story that I had, but I went to school at a University of Colorado Boulder for my master's. You know, it's more of a partier type of school. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pearl Street's famous for, you know, all the different clubs and stores you walk into. So I'm at Sundown Saloon. It's also known as... <laughs> Dumb <it>. down. <laughs> most, be up in there, bro. most people call it the downer. And yeah. there's, kind of this, downer. There, there's kind of this game that I'll play if I see, like, a, a woman that, you know, is attractive to me, but I know we haven't met before. I'll play this game. I'll say, hey, excuse me, excuse me, have we met before? 
And it kind of gets them on the spiel if they like what it is that they see on me of like, maybe we go to the same school or go to the same gym or have the same hobby, like we hike at the same spot. So I went, I went to this one particular individual and she was with her friends, but it was clear the conversation was kind of dead. And she was like on her phone doing this kind of stuff. And I walk up to her and I do the same thing. I'm like, hey, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, have we met before? She turns around and goes, I don't know who the fuck you are. And then like, and then goes and walks off. I'm like, hey, yo, I'm just trying to be respectful here. Like, how else am I supposed to approach you and show you my interest? Mm -hmm. So it, I'd say it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough crowd if you're going to be in a bar or club situation. There's several other different opportunities. You can meet people mostly organically. Uh, I think a lot of people say that you can only meet in the workplace now if you want to meet organically, which that's another can of worms to open. Or church. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> I don't know. Hey, like, yeah, you just started that career. Him, grand him, open and grand him, close. When me and him were your age, like you just went out to the bar. Like that's what you did to go meet. <laughs> I wasn't meet anywhere. I was at the gym minding my business. Uh, no, he was at the bar. You were at the bar. Everybody was at the bar. Oh, so I'm sorry. Was at the don't bar. Act, don't hey, act different now. Hey, 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 <laughs> don't act different hey, now. Caught, come from behind the car. They got you know us, buddy. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not pulling anybody's card or like saying anything bad. Everybody was at the bar. Like that's what we did. We when you're to the young, bar. that's, that's kind of that's you what you do. So, how, so, so, so right now, so right now, how can a guy approach you right now, like realistically? I, I mean, so uh, I'll, I'll let her start, but I have a game that, that I play that's it's pretty safe, especially in like a gym situation, but go ahead. So for me, I don't really go out like that. Like I don't go to bars or clubs. So I feel like in most cases, if I were to meet someone who was interested in me, it wouldn't, the approach wouldn't be initiated that way, right? So it's like either, like you said, work, not not in the same workplace, <laughs> but through work, or like if you have hobbies, right? So picking if, up defendants. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <not good. laughs> I do not date my clients. <laughs> I got you, bro. No, but you know, like, you're in the field, so you meet other people you in the field, so that's there. one way. Or, like, also mutual friends, right? So, like, let's yeah. say you have friends that do right. dinner parties, or you get together and do stuff, and maybe through through a mutual friend you meet someone. Or you get that friend just wants to go out and get ratchet with you. I can't, no, but I can't imagine, like, <laughs> I'm not even sure really how I would act right now if I was just I don't know let's say at a restaurant and like some yeah. dude just walked up to me and tried to talk to me no, I, I feel like it would be restaurant. kind of awkward for me right. um, but the one thing though is that a lot of pe there's a lot of people these days that don't have mutual friends because people move a lot more now for, I just moved here about almost a year ago now you know, and I, besides some family members, I really don't know that many people here. So that's not always an option for some people. That's surprising. No, you go, you like, you'd be at a busy, busy gym, though. Yeah, because the gym, the gym that I, that I just got to, um, I've only been there for about three or four weeks now. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. And I, and you have to be very careful in, in a gym situation because at, at the college I went to in my undergrad, I would, you know, try to talk to girls and meet girls, get their Instagrams, you know, maybe go out, maybe they're going to a club, something like this. And throughout the time, I would meet people that I didn't click with, or they were just not interested in me, or sometimes, you know, call what it is, people just took offense to you giving them that kind of attention, where I got outed. I was talking to, I was talking to, this, to this one girl I was interested in, and she's like, hey, are you still talking to my friend over there? I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so I got outed. So you got to be careful with that. I, know, I feel bad for, like, you and your generation, like, not growing up like when we did and just you know, all this shit just on the phone, like you're just yeah. on the phone doing everything on your phone. You're not making like any sort of real connection with somebody yeah. in mm -hmm. real life, in real yeah. time. Um, it's, I don't know, it's hard. Like that's why I can't do it. That's why I'm never going to have a Tinder yeah. account or anything like that. And you also know? too, another thing, man, is, uh, <clears throat> bro, what, what is a texting relationship? Like everybody, uh, text uh, everybody just yeah. wants to text I know. nowadays. I know. And hey, look here, ain't nothing happening. <laughs> like I, I can't do it and I'm not going to sit here and have a whole conversation with you through text well and that's kind of the same thing as the dating apps right because again since you're not actually talking to a person you're not seeing a person you're you what are you really like you're just 
typing words on sure. a screen, you know, like it, it really doesn't tell you, in my opinion, it doesn't really tell you much about the person. I, I think the problem, um, I think, I think yeah. well, go, go ahead. I think it's a good way to wear a relationship out or a potential relationship out. Like you're, you meet this person and then, you know, so I like met somebody that's quite a bit younger than me and we were, you know, like she just wanted to text all day and text and text and text. And I just, I, that's just not my style. You can't right. keep up. And she, no. yeah, yeah, you can't keep up. And, you know, it was a big detriment to the relationship. But at the same time, I'm like, if we're just going to not have anything to talk about when we see each other later, too, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just hard to just be on that phone all, all the damn time. day. Yeah. Like you, you need, yeah. It's good to have your own time and your own space to do whatever, you know? Definitely. It's definitely not fun. I think that why you're seeing that out of kind of the new generation as far as Gen Z goes is we're kind of, I'm, I'm in the Gen Z category at the, at, the, at the, like, right where it started. And the message that's kind of, be, that's kind of being delivered, it's kind of, it, it's almost like freeing, but almost, almost a stab in the back at the same time because the message that's kind of being told to us now is, you know, a nihilistic standpoint of like, you know, your life is like unimportant, you know, nobody's going to remember you after 150 years, you're going to die anyways, um, you know, God's not going to save you, religion's not going to save you, but at the same time, you only have the life it is that you have now, so go ahead, be free, do whatever it is that you want to do, you know, you know, make your money, find your own self-fulfillment, and where that shows in dating is people think, I got to have it all, or I got nothing, you know, as far as their standards for relationships go, and then with the kind of the hyper connectivity of social media, it's easy to meet people all over the globe. So you're gonna have people that are gonna be gunning for you know the top one percent of one percent of beauty, of looks, of social status. So those people are getting are getting a lot of the attention on the top, <clears throat> when otherwise below, nobody's looking at people that are comparable to each other, who can actually relate to to one another. Yeah, I, I yeah know, and I don't I, even like get involved in that. I, I know that so many girls that are like also, it's, you know. 19, 20, 21, 22, and then they get flown out to like the next town over to meet some 35, 36, 37 year old who really doesn't even care about them. They just, they, they want to hook up with with, with, with a younger, young girl. more beautiful individual, but they think that's genuine. It's absolutely It's like called flued out. <laughs> you want to get flued, flued out? out. <laughs> grooming. Grooming. <laughs> <laughs> grooming. <laughs> that's what you went with that? Hey. 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 How does, how does mean, the call, hey, how did you young guys come up with the word riz? You know, I, like, don't I, I don't. I don't get it, bro. Don't like, we're, we're, like, what does that have to do with game? Period. I don't know. I, I think it's a new word for swagger. Yeah, yeah it, like, is, like, it is. It is. It is. It's just riz. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's, it's like swaggered in The, the, the only way how that I can like define it, it word. is yeah. and make, to make it a whole new word. <laughs> I think the only way I mean, you, you can define that is confidence with like your assertion of yourself. Yeah. No, I just thought. When you say like, it, do people really word, say that? Like, yes. they, yeah, they say it. Yes. Really? So it's what are, so I, I don't know, what, what are people looking for in modern dating? What are people looking for? Like your age. Are people what looking are they, for, you know? and don't, not, not just you, because you sure. might fit a different category, <laughs> but well, like, what are people looking for? Are people looking for relationships? Are people looking for something long term? Well, it sounds like you are. Well, that's why I said not just him, you know, his yeah. age group. Yeah. I, th I, think, I think people my age are open-minded to how the things go, but they want someone who fits their mold of their life so perfectly that it kind of turns them away from any, like, long-term dating experiences or because of that mindset that we kind of get fed, they're always looking for the next person. Well, it is like you guys <laughs> the can, better person. You guys can customize your life to, like, what you're exposed to more so than we, you know, like, when we were younger we had cable tv and the internet was just barely blowing up so there was only a limited amount of things that we could watch to entertain us you guys can if you like if you want to watch something about something all day long you can do that between youtube and instagram and the internet you know it you guys it, it's hard like when and when you narrow your mind that much then you're limiting other people that have other opinions or interests and stuff you know what i mean well, on top of that, too, and, and I'm sure we'll get into well. this, but there is yeah. such a philosophical split in the political parties now 
where that even cuts yeah. your day market even closer. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. like, cause yeah. if you don't agree on philosophical ideas of how that life should go, your relationship is never going to work with that person. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I think that's true regardless, right? Like, if you if you don't have common ground in terms of how your life should go. That nah, I, I've seen relationships work that they don't share the same political views. I'm not well, talking no, about po yeah. politics. What's I'm, that? What's the old girl that well, was? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm not. I'm not talking Conway, about politics. Conway, Kellyanne Conway, and yeah. her husband. Yeah, but her husband. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he hated Trump. He I'm hated not Trump, saying yeah. politics. That's right. why I said regardless of the political mm -hmm. ideologies, because he he specified mm -hmm. that. I'm saying on a foundational. Uh, basis right if you don't share the same philosophy with your partner and as far as what your life should look like in the long mm. term forget political ideology just the same philosophy on what your life should look like Th that'll never work you can't really like, you, you can't really generally have an idea what your life's gonna look like well, life no, no, changes no, 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 all but the time of course but it if does. you have somebody who support who already knows that guess what, okay, I'm an entrepreneur. This is how I get down. This is how I rock. And they are, okay, and they can be fluid with that. Then a long-term relationship would work. That's easy to say, but you don't know that when you're young. So right. You're, you're right that you can't know always what your life is going to look like. But you might have a general philosophy of what you hope or what your goals or what you would want to work toward. For example, right. a person who wants kids and a person who does not want kids can the relationship work? I mean, somebody's going to be really disappointed, right? And somebody will likely end up having a lot of resentment, it harboring to do. That's the exact bitterness. That's, that's the exact yeah. example I was going to use because people who usually vote more towards the left, less likely to have kids, less likely to want kids. People that vote more towards the right, more likely to want bigger families, have children, grandchildren, more of a nuclear family type of mindset. That I'm not too sure about. Not yeah, I don't. I mean, that I do not know. Yeah, no, that, I, that's I not agree. true. For I me. agree with you. I agree with you in that in that sense. I mean, the the right. I don't. I didn't really know how. I didn't really want to get into politics. About this. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the well, right well, is well, all about the nuclear family and Jesus and and all and all of that. You know and. That's. I don't know if they're all about Jesus, but I, I, they, I, I think yeah. they pander to that audience more. Correct. Oh, hell yeah, they yeah. pander to that audience. I mean, well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I have some, I have some views that they have. Also, I share oh, no, some I views know. that yeah, they I have on that do. side. But you do. But you like do. I said, man, like right. everybody is on their own path. Like even right now, this situation with Donald Trump. What's your thoughts about that? With all these indictments, or nobody wants to touch it. I don't know. I Look, because I. I don't know if they're even worth the shit anymore. You know, that's. I, I, I think that there's good evidence that a lot of the crimes that he's committed are 100% factual. Right. But I think that it's kind of a case of point. Where it that took so you, long and just seemed so. Well, it's. I don't know. If, yeah. I don't know that it's so much the that it's. Democrats took, are such fucking pussies. I don't. I, first of all, I don't, I, don't think, even, but. I don't think it's an issue that it took so long. This is the way the feds work. So yeah. to your point, right? When the feds bring a case. Generally speaking, yeah. it has been already like by the time they bring an indictment, it has been thoroughly investigated. Well, you've yeah. got cooperators, you've got statements, well, you've got reports. That's why I don't you've you've think got, the investigation was a, a Democrat driven investigation because if it was the Democrats like forcing this investigation, they would have tried to get things out a lot sooner. And not be, you know, I mean, I yeah, think it's, it's just something that takes time. I think it's something that, generally speaking, takes time. So, for me, right, when I, and obviously this is a very unique case, but just when I get a federal case right. in general, drug cases, um, they go years back. Yeah. Right? They, yeah. they take their time to build a case, which is why the federal government has such a high conviction. 90 rate. some percent. Eh? Be, yeah. Right. Yeah. Because well, like, by the, like I said, by the time they bring charges, they have built their case. Mm -hmm. And, in, and Which, oftentimes they've spent a lot of time building their case. So I have a lot of mixed feelings about that. So, you know, just like a month ago, like mm -hmm. two houses down from where I live, mm -hmm. the Lafayette police raided this house because mm -hmm. these guys were running a chop shop and a meth. They were, cooking meth and mm -hmm. all this all this and that but they like 
let them do it for like a year. And it's like, so in a year, you just let them keep doing this for a year, like keep hurting people, keep stealing cars. The charges for are that severe. long, you know? For yeah, that's a good like, point. That's, it's a good you know, point. It's a good point. You knew what these people you, were doing. You knew what you, they were doing you for a long time, it. but you, you let them keep doing it for a year. Well, well but it's playing like, the long game. Uh, yeah, right? you gotta, I know. You got to play the long game. Like, if you, if you want to bring a solid case, and especially if you're talking about people that you want to put away for a long time, which I don't support super long sentences to right. begin with but if you if your objective is to get this person off the streets and put them away for a long time you don't want to get them on some nickel and dime no, stuff you I don't want to so you so but, I, I hear what you're saying but at and the it's same true. time like if i was that how person much, that got harm... my car stolen and i didn't get any resolution for it for over a year sure yeah how much you know? how much harm like, has I'm been like, done yeah. during but that at time the, yeah. but at the same time if somebody's getting charges brought on them every other day or every week. At some point, you gotta really think what's really going on here. Instead of them just rolling the case out, like well, late, they late. Getting, well, no, I, no, no, I think no, it's putting me, pressure. Instead of putting the case out the way it is, it seems like more and more every week, okay, we're gonna charge him with this. This, uh, he says some dumb stuff. Oh man, this guy or whoever the, the prosecutor is, he says some dumb stuff about him. Next week, we're gonna press these charges against him. At some it looks point, retaliatory. At, at some point, it starts to look like, hey, look here, what's really going on here? What is really the, like, because if you don't want him to run again, how about we just come out and say this? Or look, if you, you well, know no, I mean, I mean like, no, because that doesn't that's, matter. No, but I'm just saying. If they want him or don't no, want him to run again. No, but I'm just saying, though, if that's the, if that is, like, you know what I mean? Because the way you're rolling it out seems like every week you are trying to pin him further into a corner rather than just come out and just say, hey, well, look here, this here. So, so I think that's, that's true. So number one, I think that people are, people's minds are already made up yeah, about Trump. Exactly, exactly. I don't think the indictments make a difference on how people feel about Trump. His supporters are going to support him no matter what, and they're going to see the indictments, and they're going to see the frequency of the indictments and the increasing number of indictments as a winch, as a witch hunt. They're going to see Trump as a victim, they're, and that's not going to change, whether it's one indictment. I want to build his campaign to make commercials that say. I want to. I want to wrap this conver this part of the conversation okay. up. All right. Who wins, Biden or Trump? I mean, right now they're neck and neck, actually. Who I think wins? They're like forty-eight. Can we get a Can we get a, a, a definitive winner? Biden. I'm afraid that I, I think Trump will win. To be honest with you, and, I'm afraid, and that scares me. I think we should consider Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s current. Um, you would bring up any. <laughs> no, so the, so Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He's, he's running for president as as a Democrat. He's getting a lot of traction because he's been on MSNBC, CNN, and Fox, and and, and a bunch of different podcasts. And he's running on kind of a different a different take than what the current administration is, or what Trump is running for, or DeSantis. So it, I have I have no idea, and it's going to really come down to a wire, especially going into next year. You're, you're but I mean, so right now, anyone else? that's running is is Done. trailing far behind either biden or trump right yeah so in but terms, you, which in terms so of any crazy. primaries like, in terms of any primaries does any other democrat really have a chance of winning the democratic know. nomination well so, well, so their, 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 their thing to think about is that a lot of these mass media companies they want you to think that because a lot of times they donate to to those, to, to those particular campaigns whether it be for trump or for biden Robert, Robert, Robert F. Kennedy, parties. DeSantis, they don't have the, t the, t the type of funding that both of them have. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, like I said, man, if it was a choice between these two, right? Just Trump or Biden. Yeah. I know you're trying to be on the RFK campaign trail. We're going we're gonna to get you there. We're going to get you there, buddy. You know um, what I'm saying? Hey, go buddy, volunteer. So then you so might meet some like-minded uh, young be, women. It'll be Joe. Joe? Yeah. You mean Joe? I, I'm, it, I'm afraid. Like, I'm I, afraid I think, Trump. I think people afraid. are... It will be Trump, and then he, he's going to get rid of the two-term two limit. There are too many conservatives that I know who vote for Trump and now cannot stand him, especially yeah. after the 2020 insurrection, all right. of that stuff. They right. do not like him anymore. Okay. All yeah, right. I, but that's, you know some what smart about you? conservatives. Who, me? Oh, yeah. man. I know a lot of dumb conservatives that are just like... 
Trump or die. You I think there are just dumb people across the board. Right. But, yeah. Well, you didn't hear they choose that. Well, I was going to live in rural <laughs> said, areas just dumb people where they don't have the voting what about power you? like the big cities. Uh, really. yeah. Hey, so recently here, there's been a slight uptick no, of COVID. No, 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 no. Like I asked you a question. What happened? What about you? Who, who, who do you say? Who do you choose? Who do you think will win? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Too. Hey, well, I think, I, so, me personally, and this is just my honest opinion, mm-hmm. and you know what I mean? I don't want the city of Longmont to hold this against me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just a, what you call it? I support whoever the people no, no, no. Oh, come oh, on. No. You got to take a position. You have to. No, no. The same way well, you're nah, making... just, So the position. Don't be afraid of the mic. Well, the if, mic if it's not. just these, <laughs> don't act different now. <laughs> so my, my position is this, right? I, I Because I have, a, and I didn't want to open this up because <laughs> I have a whole, which call it about it. I think there, there needs to be age limits put in place on this stuff. I Who feel very, I feel very strongly that an Listen, eighty something is, no hear me no hear me that a seventy eighty something year old should be yeah. making decisions okay. for me when this, I don't even know what Riz is this and he's like is, twenty years younger. Right. So, 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 so hear me so hear me so hear me no so hear me so hear me so I don't believe I me mean, personally I don't believe that Biden should be president. Regardless, so, uh, the question uh, is, who do you think would so, win? And so the thing about it is, yeah, I think right. I, I, I think neither one should. No, wait, the question was no, not no. who should Trump, win. That's not, who do you think should? Wow! Hey, wow! Hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 but no, but here's the thing: because you're not going to get out of this so easily. So until you give an answer, we will not be moving. All right, all right. So I, I think personally, if the election was to go down. What not like that? I think Trump got action. I think so too. Right. So you think Trump wins? I think, I think that so. Trump wins. Okay. I do. Thank you. Yeah, your opinion is, is neither right or wrong because we're, at the end we're of the day, speculating. We're, 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 we're speculating. We're speculating on the entire U.S. voting population. Sure. Well, the thing, and like I said, the thing about it is, I think me personally, I think that these charges only heighten his. Uh, his base and they get to get for his a, base only though. Yeah, yeah but that, it doesn't, that's what these that, charges that, that, don't. That, no, hear me. That's like seventy something million Americans, and you got but, yeah, but yeah, you got a whole bunch of Americans way. that don't vote. And so guess what? If you decide not to show up and vote for Joe that day, guess what? No, but you gotta, see, here's you the act. thing. Here's I did the read thing. Something that there is a huge amount of people that voted, a huge amount of old white people that voted for Trump in 2016 mm-hmm. that probably won't be healthy enough again. to either. They're either dead or they're, they won't be let's, healthy let's enough let's to vote not, for him let's again. Let's not. Uh, no, we're gonna move. <laughs> hey, look here. Right, speed up. Speed up. Uh, yeah, man. Like right. you talking about. Uh, we're, we're going around circles. Are we talking about Buchanan? So no, we're not talking about that. So that so recently there's been an uptick of COVID cases here in Colorado. Okay. You know what I mean? So I want you guys to throw some feedback out there as far as like uh, vaccinations, anti-vax, or should there be another booster? Should there, you know what I mean? Don't 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 dance now. I, so I'm definitely not an anti-vaxxer. I'm vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. I do think that at this point, number one, I think that we all have to accept that COVID is something we have to learn to live with, just like the flu. Yep. That's, that's exactly what I thought when all, was, when all this was coming out in 2020, because flu cases dropped almost zero and COVID cases spiked. And I, I was talking, I, I don't think that I was talking in 2020, with the I don't think that in 2020 it needed to be treated like the flu because it was far more deadly. But I think that now, now, after three years of going through this and three years of data and death rates. And I think the death rate is very, very low. And I think that it's something that we kind of have to learn to live with. Um, so, no can, more, so no more lockdowns if this thing gets no, crazy. No, absolutely not. Absolutely. I, I just don't, no, but I'm just saying, so, if this thing okay. gets back crazy, no more lockdowns. It won't so happen. It, that's the thing. Okay, can we hold on? No, let us speak. No, let us speak. Let I hear you. Let us speak. Let us speak. Let us speak. Yeah, because you be saying. No, no, no. So let us speak. So number one, if I, I agree, I don't think it's ever going to get COVID. Maybe something else down the road. But COVID, I don't think it's gonna. we're going to see another 2020. Yeah. If we did with COVID. If we did see another 2020, then yes, I would think that everybody needs to kind of scale back. If that many people were dying, if it was that deadly all over again. But I think at this point, immunity has built up. People are vaccinated. People have caught it. 
Most right. people have caught COVID, vaccinated or whether not. Whether they know it or not. Yeah, most vaccinated people have, or whether they know no, it or not. No, whether they know yeah. it or not, but, but even those who know it, like most people have caught COVID at this point. I was lucky enough that for me, like I caught the flu last year and the flu was way worse for me than COVID was. COVID, I woke up feeling like kind of off. My body felt a little heavy mm -hmm, for yeah. half a day. I slept and the rest of the time I was good. I know that that's not everybody's experience, right? But for me, the flu hit me like a fucking truck last year. Like I was laid out for a few days. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think, it, I think we're at a point now where it's not as deadly as it was. It's not affecting people as severely as it was. Right. And so do we need all of the extreme restrictions no, no i don't think so i think people are going to continue doing whatever we they're just, comfortable yeah with. and we need to trust people that are in danger you know, not, oh no, not, if they're in danger of being affected by it they need to take the precautions that they need to take right correct you know, like well it's I, not just on them though it's on all of us well, to on, protect yeah. You know but what I'm saying? One another at the end of the day. We can all do Even though you need things. extra precautions, right. yes. Right. You know but we I mean? can't know, right? right? Yeah, we, we can't know, know that you are particularly yeah, vulnerable. Yeah. But at the same time, I can do things to try to keep yeah, from exactly, infecting. Exactly. I can carry myself exactly. in a way not to infect you if I, I come around you. Sanitize of course. My hands if I'm sick, you know what I mean? I can do like everything, yes, exactly. you know what I mean? Exactly. Everything else. Well, no, moreover, right? If I'm sick, I'm staying home. Exactly. Like, I think one one big thing that has changed because of COVID is that like people used to go to work and school sick all mm -hmm. the time, right? Well, like unless you were dying, yeah. unless you were dying, unless right. you were vomiting, unless right. you were like laid out, like you still went to work, you still sent your kid to school. Some mm -hmm. people still do, but I think that happens a lot less now. I think people are much more cognizant now. Well, and I think a lot of, of those benefits like, are wearing out if soon you're too. They're sick, not, they expire. That was that was an issue with the, the benefits with American do, culture. but I mean, I think people's mentality has somewhat yeah, shifted, right? That's like true. some people are never going to go back to blowing out a candle on a birthday cake. Right. Some right. people began right. to some see people that shouldn't as, have never been some people should have never, should have never <laughs> no. and there are people who always thought it was disgusting right but I right. mean some people will never go back to that and I think some people like you know my daughter grew up in you know my daughter's 10 she grew up in COVID and she's very aware of not just COVID like if she's sick She's like, no, mom, I'm not going to go play with the neighbor. I might get them sick. And similarly, if someone's sick, she doesn't want them around her because she doesn't want to get sick. And if you tell her, well, honey, you don't have COVID. She's like, so what? I don't want to get sick. You know what I mean? Which is kind of like, why didn't we think that way before? Like, why did we go to work or school coughing and sneezing all over the place and getting everyone else sick? Right. Why don't employers want you to stay home when you're sick rather than coming into the office and infecting everyone and ensuring that more people are going to call out sick instead of coming to work. Well, that, that's, that, that was, that was a, that was a, a workplace cultural issue in the United States that we were 50 some odd years behind. You, you go to certain countries in the European union right. and they have, you know, several days off out of the year, multiple months on end and sick pay and stuff, and stuff right. like this. So right. COVID just triggered a, a cultural response that we were lacking on that was already starting to change a little bit. So, but so, as, as far as so lazy as far as the co as far as the COVID so situation lazy. goes, I think whether you're pro -va pro vax or anti vax, I think the vaccines most people can agree were not as effective as were marketed or as advertised. No, I, 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 do, I don't agree with that. And I got a booster, and I got COVID, and I right. got pretty sick for two days, right. two, but just two days. So I, I, had the, I, had, I had the original COVID in October 2020 with, before I was vaccinated, and to be honest, all the symptoms that I had was I had a slight a slight fever. And not the chills, but like muscle shakes. Yeah, um, that's what I had too. and I went to work the next day while I was sick. The only reason why I found out I had COVID was because my girlfriend, who I was with at the time, got it from me. Got really sick, ran like 104, 105. We both get tested. We got COVID. Mm -hmm. So this is this is a harsh generalization, but I'll make it just for kind of a logical point as far as where we're at. I think COVID, the original strain, anyways, has killed the people that it was going to kill. Boy. And the new strains that are coming out now, and it's been proven in, in the literature that yeah. most of them are weaker and weaker and weaker. Right. They've gotten weaker and weaker and weaker. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to, so we're going to take a break here, man. 
Hey, anybody whose family suffered uh, during the COVID or who lost someone, man, like... Uh, it's tough. Yeah, it's, it's tough, really man. Hard. You guys stay strong and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully, like I said, it doesn't come back around, man. And hopefully, if it does, the powers that be, you know, make good choices, better choices, and we come at it from a better angle, man. I think a lot of people are, are pay, as, you, as, uh, as Lou was talking about, a lot more, a lot more cognizant of their health now compared to previously. Mm -hmm. yeah.